Live from London, this is BBC News. Israel warns the siege of Gaza will not end until its hostages are released as power and clean water start to run out. Israeli airstrikes continue into a sixth day. The number killed in Gaza rises to more than 1,400. The US Secretary of State Antony Blinken offers unwavering support to Israel and says military assistance is on its way. The message that I bring to Israel is this. You may be strong enough on your own to defend yourself, but as long as America exists, you will never ever have to. And this is the scene live in Gaza. Stay with us for full coverage of the growing crisis in the region. Hello, I'm Samantha Simmons. Welcome to Verified Live. Three hours of breaking stories and checking out the truth behind them. Israel has ruled out allowing basic resources or humanitarian aid into Gaza until Hamas releases the hostages it abducted during the weekend attack. At least 1,300 Israelis were killed in the assault and at least 150 people are thought to have been kidnapped. Israel's total blockade of Gaza means food and clean water are running out. The mains electricity is cut and raw sewage is building up in the streets. Gaza's health ministry says Israel's sustained bombardment has now killed more than 1,400 people, nearly a third of them children. The Red Cross says the blockade risks turning Gaza hospitals into mortuaries, warning full fuel for generators could run out on Thursday. But Israel's energy minister has insisted no electricity, fuel or water supplies will be turned on until the hostages are home. The U.S. Secretary of State has assured Israel of Washington's unwavering support and warned its adversaries against taking advantage of the situation. Speaking after talks in Tel Aviv with the Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Antony Blinken said Israel had the right to defend itself but stressed precautions must be taken to avoid harming civilians of any nationality. Our Middle East Mr. correspondent Secretary. Tom Bateman reports. This was the aftermath as Israel bombed an apartment block in Gaza just after dawn. It's a packed refugee camp to where residents say others had already fled. 